Hi, welcome to my channel. I wanted to show you something that I came up with that uh, when I went to go online and look for a solution to the whole flipping the product, flipping your uh, material to, to mill the other side, I didn't find a whole lot specifically for that. I found it on several videos in passing, but what I wanted to show you, what I came up with is uh, just something I thought I'd share. So uh, this is how I do it. It's probably not the only way, I know it's not. But anyway, so what I do is I'll, I find a piece of scrap board, which is just the right size for me, and I put it up against here and as just kind of a ledger type thing to hold my jig. This is the jig wood here. And uh, this is gonna be drilled in, uh, this is where I'm gonna put my dowels. So the dowels are going to go in here, and the actual stock will go above it. Isn't that pretty leopard wood? My goodness. All right. Anyway, um, so what I did here is, so the bottom, it'll hold, the clamps will hold the jig in when we go to drill the jig. And when we put down the clamp, It'll hold not only not only the jig, but what's going to be really mate, uh, mate drilled, so that all four dowels will be lined up, so that whenever we mill the top of the guitar neck, we can then take it off of the jig, turn the material over, and mill the other side. And as long as the four dowels are completely lined up like I'll I'll zero it here that'll be my origin and I'll and I'll basically put a dowel I'll put a dowel in the in the spindle and run it down into that hole pull it back out and jog it over exactly 28 inches where I've got the other one if it doesn't line up I lift up this side and I move it over a little bit or wherever it goes jog it again make sure it's lined up if it's lined up as it that's after I've turned it over if it's lined up X is lined up and my stock whatever program you use I use Fusion 360 but if if in your stock your model is right in the middle of those four dowels you know you can use the construction line on Fusion 360 or, or whatever line and, and get your line in the middle so that you know that that stock is exactly in the middle of those. I put it four inches here, four inches here, and then 28 inches across. If it's in the middle, when you flip and do the other side, you should definitely be right on if you've done what I'm talking about from here to here. Make sure it's not racked. If you do that, you can easily mill the other side and be dead center. So anyway, I, should have, I thought I'd share that because it really helped me and I hope it helps someone else. And this is a jig I build for guitars, so you may not want to do this. I did this for repeatability so I can have a jig that just sets it on there every time the same way. If this video has helped you, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. It helps support the channel. Thanks for watching.